Ever since VO3 was launched in India, many YouTubers have made videos telling you how to use VO3 for free for one year. But even after watching all those videos, your identity verification is still not getting done, or you're facing some other problem. So, this video is only for you. Because in this video, I will teach you how to create a one-year free account of VO3 with a complete solution. And yes, I will also create an account and show you, through which you can generate an 8-second video with sound and voiceover. And yes, many people's verification goes into pending, which can take 1, 2, or even 3 days. So, you must always do the verification through the Google Chrome browser, only then it will be successful. For that, you have to download this VPN, whose link I will give you in the description, or you can go to the Play Store and download it yourself. It's an Indian VPN, so you have to connect it to India. And if you're living in India, then you don't need to connect any VPN. Then, you have to open the Chrome browser and search Google Gemini for student. There, you have to click on the first website that appears. You will also get its link in the description from where you can directly come here. After coming here, scroll a little down and you will see an option for Get Offer. This website looks something like this. So, we will click on Get Offer, then scroll a little down from here, and you will get a one-year offer. But you don't have to click here, ha. You have to click here and select that Gmail account which you just created. Sometimes you will directly get the login option, and this page might not be shown, so you can log in from there as well. It will look something like this. So, just enter your Gmail here, and then enter the password to log in. If we continue with the same Gmail that was already logged in, then verification problems can occur. That's why we create a new Gmail. So now, I will log in with my new Gmail. Here is my Gmail, which I just created. This Gmail is also showing the one-year offer. By clicking here, you can see Badu. You can see all the plans. It offers a lot, like you can do your homework and writing, generate videos using VEO3, and you also get two terabit of storage. So now, we will click on Verify Eligibility. As soon as we click here, this page will open in front of us. Now many people make a mistake right here, because of which their verification gets canceled. Now, I will tell you what you need to fill in here. First of all, you have to enter the college name, Punjab University, Chandigarh. As soon as you search this, the name will appear below, with Chandigarh written four times. You just have to select that one. Then, it will ask you to enter a name. So, you can enter any Indian name, like I have entered Vivek Kumar. Then below, you have to enter the date of birth. You have to enter the same date of birth, which you used while creating the Gmail you will remember it. But if you don't remember, then you have to open your Gmail app. There on the side, you will see the Gmail logo. Click on it and then click on Manage your Google account. Then scroll down and then click on Personal Details. And if you scroll down in that, you will see your date of birth. This is the same date of birth you used while creating the Gmail. And you have to enter exactly this one there. So I will quickly enter it. Okay, so now it's time for the email address. What to enter in the address? You have to look at it very carefully because this is also a very important part. So, in this you have to enter 21BCS. After this you can enter any 5-digit number of your choice. Like I have entered any random 5 numbers here. You have to do it like this. Do not copy my numbers exactly. Enter some different numbers. And then, at C, U, C, H, D, N, E, in. In this way you have to enter your Gmail address. So, after writing this much, you don't have to click on verify student status, but instead, go to my Telegram and download this photo, which will look like a student ID card. You have to download it and also download one more application from the Play Store, and so whose link I will give in the description. Its name is Pixel Lab. When you open it, it will look something like this. Then here we will click on this text and delete it by clicking on delete. After that, you have to click here at the bottom, then click here and from here you have to bring that card which you just downloaded from Telegram. Then click on it here and stretch it across the entire editing tab. Then click on the top here to lock it, and again, click on the same place to close it. Here you have to click on Shayi, and as soon as you click on it, you will get a box like this. Then click on the points shown on it and shape it something like this. And then click on the tick mark. After that, bring it down and adjust it so it touches the place where the name is written on this ID card. Something like this. Then click here on the top and lock this white strip too. And then click here again to close it. Now we will click on text. From here we will get a text. Then click on edit. And here we have to enter the same name which you had entered while filling the form. I have entered the same name here. Now click on OK. Then from here move it slightly to the side. Here you will get a color option. Click on it and select black color. And click on the right option. And then click on the font option and select this font. Then click on OK. Then at the top, you will see a plus icon. 
click on it, and pinch with two fingers to zoom it like this. You can zoom even more if you want. Then again, click on the plus icon. Now, we will adjust this text properly and place it perfectly. Click on the plus icon again and make it the same as before. And then, click on the plus icon again. Now, you have to take another text again and enter any 10-digit number in it. It will look like your mobile number, but you don't have to enter your actual mobile number. You just have to enter any random 10-digit number, and then select this font for it. Now, we will zoom it like this and set it here, at the very bottom. So now, our fake ID card is completely ready. You don't have to change its background either. Keep the same background that was already there. Now from here, click here and click on Save Image. Change JPG file to PNG, and click here, and select Ultra, and click on Save to Gallery. So, our image will be saved. Once again, make sure that you have entered all the details correctly, as I told you. Now, come to your Chrome browser and click on Verify Student Status. After a while, this page will open in front of us. Here, we will add our document, which we just edited. We will click from here and add this ID card. On the side, you will see an option to add another document, but do not add any document there. Just click on Submit. After that, a loading page will open in front of us. After a while, some numbers will start running for around 20 seconds. And as soon as the numbers end, the Get Google AI Pro page will open in front of us, which means our ID verification is successful. Then we will click here, after which we will return to the same page where we started from. Now in front of me, Verify Eligibility is being shown, because I have logged in with a different Gmail here. The Gmail I logged in with initially has come back here again. So, I click here and switch to the Gmail on which I just created the account. On this Gmail, as you can see, the Get Student Offer has arrived. We will click on it, but the full process is not completed yet. A crucial step is still remaining because when I was creating the account here, there was a payment problem. So, what was that? I will now tell you. But before that, we try to make the payment using any of these payment methods. But, you don't need to worry. Only 2 rupees will be deducted in Indian currency, which is 0.024 dollars. I also have Indian payment methods like UPI, because I have many friends in India. So, I use UPI to make the payment in the easiest way. But when I was making the payment, it kept failing again and again, and an error like this was appearing. Maybe you are also getting, or may get, the same error. Besides this, a blank page was also opening in which nothing was visible. So maybe you will also face both these problems. I tried to make the payment using a card other than UPI and tried all the other options too, but nothing worked. Then I logged into this Gmail on my second mobile and in the browser of that mobile, I turned on incognito mode and made the payment and it worked. I couldn't record it because I didn't expect it to work on that mobile too. And I couldn't do screen recording because when we perform the process to access Google Gemini Pro in incognito mode, we cannot screen record or even take screenshots. So that's why I'm now showing you the screen recording from the second mobile using the camera. Now, if I click here, Google Gemini Pro will open directly. You can even see the colorful circle in my logo. And now, if I open Google Gemini from this Gmail on my second mobile, without using Chrome browser in incognito mode, it will take me straight to the page where you also get VEO3. And here, you can paste your, your prompt and generate videos with voiceover. Now, let's talk about a few points due to which your identity verification might get canceled. Point one. If you have tried again and again with the same Gmail, your identity verification might get canceled. If you are trying with a very old Gmail that already has a history with Google, then. Because of that data, your identity verification might get canceled. Point three, if you are doing this whole process in Chrome's incognito mode, even then your identity verification might get canceled because Google's security gets very high. So high that while performing this process, you can't even do screen recording or take screenshots. But if you face any problem in making the payment, then you can turn on incognito mode log in with that Gmail and make the payment because your identity verification is already done without turning on incognito mode. Point four, and the most important, whatever has been told in this video, you have to follow everything properly. And while filling your details, whether in the student ID card or anywhere else, you have to pay special attention to the details. And even after that, if you still face any problem, then just comment and I will definitely reply. And if you want to know about unlimited text to video and image to video, then you can watch this video of mine. Bye.